is African milkweed. It gets these little fake spiny pods that become that cotton later in the year. Um, and this is also another kind of milkweed. And then the last kind of milkweed we have is the California native milkweed right over here, which has white flowers in the spring and the summer. Uh, like I said, a lot of milkweed doesn't grow here in Santa Cruz on its own, but anywhere in the rest of California or in any of the other states, milkweed does grow. And there's over 40 different varieties. In the center, we have adult butterfly food. So the milkweed is caterpillar food. And then once the, ad, uh, the butterflies are adults, they like flowers. And any kind of flower with nectar will do. But their absolute favorite kind of flowers are purple flowers, because they see an ultraviolet. So purple really stands out to their eyes, and they absolutely love it. Um, the reason I wanted to show you guys this garden was because we actually need your help. So like I was saying earlier, pre-1997, we always had between 100,000 and 150,000 butterflies in our grove here at Natural Bridges every year. Recently though, post-1997, we have had fewer than 40,000 butterflies each year. They've been losing a lot of habitat. We've been building beach houses, which are getting rid of their overwintering habitat, places like natural bridges. We have been changing our agricultural practices to include a lot more pesticides. It's been affecting the bees too, so they go into a field full of crops. They want to pollinate those farmers' crops. But when they go into the field to do so, they get a mouthful of herbicides and pesticides, and it kills them. On top of that, we're not letting the roadside weeds grow anymore. So those wildflowers and that milkweed are now getting cut down and not allowed to grow, which means our butterflies have less and less to eat, which is why we're seeing such a big decline in their numbers. If you guys want to help, please plant butterfly gardens. Plant flowers, plant milkweed. Every milkweed plant you grow is equivalent to one butterfly. A caterpillar needs at least one whole milkweed plant to become a butterfly. So every time you plant milkweed, you're potentially helping butterflies. And by planting a butterfly garden with lots of different flowers and nectarine plants, you're not just helping butterflies, you're helping all pollinators. Bees, birds, and butterflies. You're helping to support a whole ecosystem. And you guys really can do it just with your backyard. There's a college out in Wisconsin that did this, and they did a community project where they encouraged people to plant milkweed and flowers in their backyards. And it boosted the monarch population in their state by hundreds of thousands, which is amazing considering that every other report from all the other states that we had this summer, from visitors, rangers, and docents, and teachers, were saying that they hadn't seen any monarchs. Teachers that had always gone out like Denise had and brought in eggs to hatch couldn't find a single egg, couldn't find a single caterpillar. Rangers that are used to seeing them in their parks weren't seeing any. And in Mexico, it's been pretty dismal. So Mexico's migration is used to getting between four, uh, 350 and 400 million butterflies every year. Last year, they only had 60 million. And though the counts aren't done for this year, they're expecting something like 30 million. That's dropping more than 50% every year. So by planting in your backyards, you'd actually make a huge difference. All right, so now we're going to go down with Denise. And um, we already have a docent that's going to be setting up our scope. And we're going to release the butterflies. And the tour will end down there. I'll stay down there to take questions. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.